Hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to AIMS India's live session, Biology for 7th Standard, Food Components. From the past two classes, we are discussing about different uh, food components. In the yesterday's class, we discuss about the vitamins. So let us continue the discussion about vitamins, minerals and balanced diet in this video. So vitamins are the chemical nutrients which are essential nutrients. Why vitamins are called essential nutrients children? Because they are uh, required they are not not all vitamins are synthesized in our body that's why they are obtained only through the food which we eat hence they are called essential nutrients they are micronutrients why they are called micronutrients vitamins are called micronutrients why they are called micronutrients because they are required in micrograms very small micrograms and they are called vital nutrients why vitamins are called vital nutrients because most of the important metabolic activities physiological functions like digestion respiration these are under the control of uh, vitamins so let us proceed vitamins are classified into two main categories based on their solubility they are water soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins so what are water soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins include vitamin b complex and vitamin c so vitamin b complex a complex vitamin which consists of a different uh, group of vitamins vitamin b1 first vitamin b1 the chemical name is thiamine it is needed for proper working of the heart digestive and nervous systems so these vitamin b complex uh, they involve in the metabolism of uh, the enzymes and uh, the metabolism of carbohydrates proteins and fats depends upon the availability of these vitamins vitamin b1 thiamine is required for proper functioning of heart digestive system and nervous system then vitamin b2 the chemical name of vitamin b2 is riboflavin it is important for growth and uh, repair of tissues and especially the tissue or the skin present in the mouth okay and also in the eyes so riboflavin or vitamin b2 is required for the repair of tissues and also growth vitamin b3 niacin or nicotinic acid vitamin b3 it is also called niacin or nicotinic acid so it helps to release energy from food and important for growth and helps control cholesterol levels cholesterol levels can be controlled in the presence of vitamin b3 vitamin b6 vitamin b6 is also called pyridoxin pyridoxin is the chemical name of vitamin b6 it is important for brain function and uh, immune system and maintenance of uh, health so if you take the sources of these uh, vitamins vitamin b complex almost uh, they are present in whole grains the seed coat of uh, different grains or cereals they are rich in vitamin b complex and uh, they are present in the fresh leafy vegetables sprouted seeds also the rich sources of uh, this vitamin b complex next uh, nuts eggs milk meat liver 
okay these are all the products from uh, uh, the animals which are rich in vitamin b complex so let us uh, study some more vitamins water soluble vitamins pantothenic acid pantothenic acid is also one of the b complex vitamin it helps in the metabolism of carbohydrates proteins and fats metabolism of carbohydrates proteins and fats vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin it is a b complex vitamin it works with foliate to form new blood and new nerve cells and also synthesis of dna okay very important vitamin vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin it works with the folate means folic acid along with it, to produce new rbc and neurons and also the dna biotin biotin vitamin it is also called uh, commonly it is called vitamin b7 it is important for growth and nerve cell formation growth and nerve cell formation next folate or folic acid it produces the red blood cells rbc and dna along with this uh, vitamin b12 and keeps the nervous system healthy next ascorbic acid the last water soluble vitamin ascorbic acid or uh, vitamin c uh, it is needed for healthy skin healthy gums teeth bones and cartilage so the main function of uh, this ascorbic acid is it assists with uh, absorption of some types of iron okay or metabolism of iron depends upon the availability of ascorbic acid as we know that iron is required for the formation of uh, blood or hemoglobin and it also assist with the wound healing and resistance to infection so this is the vitamin it is one of the heat sensitive vitamin and uh, this vitamin is richly available in uh, different types of uh, food materials particularly vitamin c is present in the citrus fruits like uh, oranges and uh, lemon okay berries different types of berries okay and guava fruit is also simple and rich source of uh, this uh, and amla amla or uh, indian gooseberry it is also one of the richest source of uh, this vitamin c and the remaining b complex vitamin they are present in the whole grains bread fish milk meat liver and all the different types of uh, the fresh green leafy vegetables are rich in these vitamins water soluble vitamins so children what are water soluble vitamins water soluble vitamins are the group of vitamins which are soluble in water they are uh, vitamin b complex and uh, vitamin c what are the vitamins present in the vitamin b complex uh, vitamin b1 thiamine vitamin b2 riboflavin vitamin b3 niacin or nicotinic acid okay and um, uh, vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin pantothenic acid folic acid biotin or vitamin b7 these are all and vitamin b6 it is also called pyridoxin these are the b complex vitamins and uh, ascorbic acid or vitamin c these are all the water soluble vitamins okay next come to fat soluble vitamins what are fat soluble vitamins the vitamins which are soluble in the fat they are called fat soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins are classified into four main types they are vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k so let us study one by one vitamin a retinol the chemical name of vitamin a is retinol it is essential for eyesight especially 
night vision is under the control of uh, this vitamin okay it builds the immunity or ability to fight uh, infections and keeps the skin in the mouth and respiratory tract and urinary tract and it maintains the moist or protects against the harmful bacteria so vitamin a very important vitamin this vitamin is available in the form of carotin from the red vegetables like carrot beetroot papaya they are rich sources of vitamin a then vitamin d vitamin d is a fat soluble vitamin this vitamin uh, is a um, chemical name is calciferol calciferol is a uh, vitamin d fat soluble vitamin it works with the calcium and phosphorus to make strong healthy bones and teeth what is the main function of this uh, uh, vitamin d vitamin d helps in the formation of strong healthy bones and teeth so this vitamin along with uh, the calcium it uh, plays very important role so actually this vitamin is uh, synthesized in the body uh, with the help of uh, sunlight the cholesterol fat which is present beneath the skin some useful cholesterol converted into the calciferol in the presence of uh, photochemical reaction or in the presence of sunlight so early morning sunlight is a rich source of uh, this vitamin d next what are the functions or if the deficiency in vitamin d can cause rickets which increase the chance of a child having fractures so that's why early morning you have to children you have to get up early uh, before 6:30 or 7 in the morning at least and you have to stay take sun bath sun bath is actually the process where the people near the uh, beaches or sea coast so they will uh, uh, expose their body to the sunlight early morning sunlight so depending upon the possibility you have to uh, stay in the sunlight morning sunlight for at least half an hour okay that is helpful in the synthesis of uh, vitamin d and that will avoid the deficiency of vitamin d because nowadays uh, fractures are most common because of deficiency of vitamin d next vitamin e vitamin e is also called tocopherol it is also a fat soluble vitamin this uh, acts as an antioxidant and uh, play a role in preventing cancer and heart disease cancer and heart diseases can be controlled in the presence of this vitamin e so that's why it's most important vitamin next uh, vitamin k vitamin k is also called philoquinone and uh, it is essential for uh, the blood clotting or it is also called as a uh, anti hemorrhage vitamin it will prevent the hemorrhage or loss of uh, blood during the injuries or wounds so what are the sources common uh, here uh, vitamin uh, uh, e is present in the fresh leafy vegetables particularly uh, this uh, broccoli drumsticks and the leaves of drumstick are also uh, rich in vitamin e and uh, cow milk is also rich source and uh, along with that baby corns okay so they are the rich uh, sources of these vitamins vitamin a present in the fish liver oil or uh, cod liver oil that only uh, the marine fish cod fish cod liver oil uh, is uh, used uh, as a supplement for vitamin uh, a and uh, red carrots beetroots and papaya fruits are rich in vitamin a and sprouted seeds sprouted seeds are also rich in these vitamins okay children what are fat soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins are vitamin a 
विटामिन डी विटामिन ई विटामिन के विटामिन ए केमिकल नेम इज रेटिनॉल विटामिन डी केमिकल नेम इज कैल्सिफेरॉल विटामिन ई केमिकल नेम इज टोकोफेरॉल विटामिन के केमिकल नेम इज फिलोक्विनोन नेक्स्ट लेट अस सी द व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट मिनरल्स एंड functions of minerals minerals are also micronutrients they are required in micrograms some of the minerals are called uh, major elements which are required in uh, large quantities okay and some of them are called trace elements which are required in small quantities so some of the important uh, minerals and their functions let us go through calcium calcium is an essential for building strong healthy bones and teeth so as we already studied that calcium along with vitamin d is required for formation of strong healthy bones and teeth next calcium helps in muscle contraction it's also very important function and nerve function it also helps in the clotting of blood calcium acts as one of the factor in the clotting of blood and it also required by lactating women for the production of milk next iron iron actually it is a trace element it is abundantly present in the rbc cells so it helps the red blood cells carry oxygen around the body and it prevents a disease called anemia anemia is a disease caused due to deficiency of iron calcium deficiency causes osteoporosis okay and the next uh, iodine iodine is a very important uh, nutrient and uh, it will promotes the normal functioning of thyroid gland the thyroid gland one of the important endocrine gland which is present in the neck region that is throat region and uh, this iodine helps uh, the production of thyroxine hormone okay and helps the brain function and normal growth growth and metabolism is the main function of uh, iodine that is the function of thyroxine hormone this deficiency causes goiter disease enlargement of thyroid gland next sodium or common salt sodium controls nerve impulse or nerve transmission and it helps to maintain water balance or osmotic balance so sodium every day in our diet we will include no problem next potassium potassium is another important mineral it controls nerve impulses and muscle contractions and helps to maintain fluid balance means osmotic balance okay so these are also mostly these minerals are available in the food which we eat fresh leafy vegetables along with water water plays very important role in uh, obtaining the minerals okay and the common salt iodized salt which contain sodium iodine chloride all these three and the milk and milk products contain the calcium and uh, fresh leafy vegetables like spinach amaranthus and uh, cabbage contain the iron the potassium is also present in the fresh leafy vegetables and sprouted seeds next let us proceed to another important food component roughage what is roughage or dietary fiber it is also called dietary fiber so being rich in fiber it absorbs water and helps in food movement inside the 
intestine. The functions of roughage, the first function, it is rich in fiber, it absorbs water and helps in food movement inside the intestine. And it also helps in bowel movement by preventing constipation, undigested food material in the large intestine or in the rectum is passed out through annals. That movement is called the bowel movement. It uh, helps in bowel movement and prevents constipation. Constipation means irregular motions. Next, uh, it is uh, richly available in beans, peas, cells, wheat, ladies finger. These are all the food materials which are rich in roughage or we can say it is available richly in the fresh green leafy vegetables. Next, uh, what is the requirement of this roughage every day means daily we need 12.8 to 14.8 grams of roughage every day. Okay, this is the requirement of uh, uh, this uh, roughage. Okay. So these are all the fresh leafy vegetables. Okay. Carrot, okay, onions, plantlets of onions, okay. capsicum, spinach, beetroot, cauliflower, okay. corn, asparagus, is also one of the rich. Okay, these are all the food materials which are rich in roughage. And finally, about water also we have to discuss briefly. Water is an essential nutrient, I can say. Do you agree? Water is essential nutrient. Water is an essential nutrient. Why? Why water is an essential nutrient? Because it is required it is uh, required in amounts that exceed the body's ability to produce it. Actually, the water present in the food materials are also assimilated by our body, absorbed by our body. That is called metabolic water. The water which is released during the uh, metabolic functions like respiration, digestion, that water is absorbed. That is metabolic water. Along with that, we also need uh, some extra water through the food materials which we eat and the water we drink and uh, all biochemical reactions biochemical reactions means digestion respiration excretion transport all these biochemical reactions require water water acts as a medium for the activity of all these that's the hydrolytic enzymes we are saying digestion means in the presence of hydrolytic enzymes. What are hydrolytic enzymes? Nothing but the enzymes which are activated in the presence of water. Next are which breaks the substrate by adding water. Next, uh, water is, uh, uh, it fills the intercellular spaces. We are multicellular organisms, the intercellular spaces are filled with uh, water or it is a part of matrix of the cell or protoplasm of the cell. Next, uh, it um, regulates body temperature and maintains osmotic balance. That's why how much water we require every day? We need uh, nearly uh, 3.7 liters of water. Okay, That is around uh, 15 cups of water for a man and uh, 2.7 liters of water for women. Okay. So, finally, about balanced diet. What is balanced diet? A mixed diet containing all the essential requirements in their right quantities is necessary for body's proper growth. Such a diet is called a balanced diet or a diet which, is, which fulfills all the nutrients. Okay, which fulfills all the nutrients. What are the nutrients? Carbohydrates, proteins, fats and um, vitamins, minerals, water, roughage. All these it is called as a balanced 
diet. In a balanced diet, all types of uh, food materials are present. Energy giving foods. What are energy giving foods? Carbohydrates, fats, and uh, body building foods. What are body building foods? Proteins. And protective foods. What are protective foods? Vitamins and minerals are present in right proportions or correct proportions. How much it is required? Okay, that much is present. Then it is called a balanced diet. A balanced diet thus provides the body with uh, all essential nutrients, all the materials necessary for proper growth and repair of the body and also energy required by the body to carry out its life activities. Okay. So, three main functions of balanced diet once again. It fulfills all the essential nutrients. Number two, all materials necessary for proper growth and repair of body are and uh, energy required by the body to carry out its uh, life activities. These are the main functions of balanced diet. And uh, too much is too bad. That is overeating may also lead to a disorder called obesity. Okay, about this. In the next class, we are going to discuss obesity. Okay, overeating may also lead to obesity. This often leads to other problems like cardiovascular problems, heart diseases, and blood pressure. These problems, together called cardiovascular problems, renal problems, problems related to kidneys. Okay, so a balanced diet. Um, an egg is a balanced diet for a child, growing child, every day one egg, a glass of milk, okay. So, which anything which consists of all the nutrients in required proportion is called a balanced diet. So, that's why uh, an infant get balanced diet from the mother's milk. A mother's milk is a balanced diet. It depends on the type of food the mother consumes. It uh, relates to the nutrients present in the milk. That's why lactating mother has to take balanced diet. Okay, once again, uh, what we have learned today. What we have learned today. Our body requires vitamins. What are those vitamins? Fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, D, E and K which are soluble in fat. They are fat soluble vitamins. Next, vitamin B complex and vitamin C. These are water soluble vitamins. Our body can synthesize only two main vitamins. They are vitamins D and vitamin K. So, some uh, intestinal bacteria, even vitamin uh, B12 also to some extent synthesized in our intestine by E. coli bacteria, Escherichia coli bacteria present in our intestine will synthesize some of the vitamins. That is the reason why uh, doctors suggest uh, not to consume more antibiotics. If you consume more antibiotics, what happened? Those useful bacteria also killed. So, which will lead to vitamin deficiency and digestion problems. So, the important vitamins of uh, B complex are vitamin B1. What is the chemical name of B1? Recall. Come on, answer. Those who are in live chat. Vitamin B1 is also called thymine. Vitamin B2, riboflavin. Vitamin B3, niacin or nicotinic acid. Vitamin B6, pyridoxine. 
विटामिन बी सेवन बायोटीन विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व साइनोकोबाल अमीन फोलिक एसिड पैंथोथिनिक एसिड दीज आर टुगेदर कॉल्ड एस विटामिन बी कॉम्प्लेक्स next important minerals required by our body what are the important uh, mineral elements which are required by our body they are iron calcium iodine potassium magnesium sodium chloride so these are all very very important because magnesium sometimes it uh, deficiency may cause cancer also because some of the enzymes require these uh, minerals these minerals may act as cofactors or for the activity of enzymes okay they are required iron deficiency causes anemia calcium deficiency causes rickets and osteoporosis iron deficiency causes goiter okay and uh, the sodium and chloride potassium these three are very important in neuronal activity nerve impulse or nerve transmission and also maintains osmotic balance water balance in the body balanced diet what is a balanced diet you can uh, write in your own sentences a mixed food which include all the required nutrients in a required proportion or fixed proportion it is called a balanced diet okay so shall we proceed to the quiz any doubt so let us proceed food components quiz number 3 this vitamin is important for growth and development and for the maintenance of the immune system and good vision come on all of you be ready to answer the question vitamin b1 vitamin a vitamin e and vitamin c so we have thoroughly revised about the vitamins so far so you can answer in the live chat which vitamin is important for growth and development and maintains the immune system and good vision good vision is added here yes yes vitamin vitamin a vitamin a is the right answer that is b option option b is a correct one next question this vitamin is used by animals to carboxylate certain proteins which are involved in blood coagulation and bone formation carboxylate certain proteins and also involved in blood coagulation means clotting of blood and bone formation vitamin k vitamin b6 vitamin b12 vitamin t here carboxylate the meaning is carboxylate is nothing but a conjugate base of carboxylic acid okay. so you will study in higher classes the functional group r c o o h minus okay. so this is uh, added carboxylic acid okay gets uh, in the metabolic uh, functions during respiration okay. 
they are organic acids are formed with that you will study in higher classes so here answer the question which involved in blood coagulation very simple and bone formation here vitamin those who are in live chat please answer yes vitamin k blood coagulation anti hemorrhage vitamin is vitamin k next choose the fat soluble vitamins so it is a multi correct answer see all the options vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k what is the right option here all are correct so a b c d vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k all these are fat soluble vitamins next choose water soluble vitamins vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d here vitamin b represent b complex vitamin choose water soluble vitamins so here also more than one option you have to select what are they vitamin b and vitamin c vitamin b b complex which include vitamin b1 b2 b3 b6 b7 b12 folic acid pantothenic acid biotin okay complex vitamin vitamin b and vitamin c so b and c options are correct this vitamin is called retinol which vitamin is called retinol or what is the chemical name of the vitamin retinol common name of vitamin retinol the chemical name is retinol here you have to choose the common name vitamin b12 vitamin a vitamin b6 vitamin k so what is the common name of vitamin b12 here cyanocobalamin vitamin b6 pyridoxine vitamin k philoquinone so here vitamin a is the right answer so what is the correct answer option b vitamin a is called retinol next next question a chemical name of vitamin b7 a chemical name of vitamin b7 folic acid pantothenic acid riboflavin biotin come on select uh, the right option in the discussion i mentioned about vitamin b7 recall folic acid pantothenic acid riboflavin biotin okay. so what is the right answer biotin d is the right answer biotin is also called vitamin b7 biotin next question good sources of this vitamin include cow milk dairy products fish and eggs vitamin b7 vitamin b12 vitamin b2 good sources of this vitamin include cow milk dairy products fish and eggs 
come on answer that question children yes vitamin b7 or biotin biotin is the uh, present in cow milk dairy products fish and eggs dash is calciferol vitamin vitamin d vitamin e vitamin a vitamin c dash is calciferol vitamin or calciferol is the chemical name of which vitamin yes vitamin d a is the correct option vitamin d is calciferol vitamin anti sterility vitamin which vitamin is called anti sterility vitamin vitamin e vitamin d vitamin f vitamin k what is the right answer here vitamin e a is the right option vitamin e is also called anti sterility vitamin because its deficiency in females lead to abortions and sterility in the males so that's why vitamin e is required for normal functioning of reproductive organs so anti aging vitamin also it is which vitamin is anti coagulant agent vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k here you have to understand the term anti coagulant okay so which will coagulate the blood or which helps in the clotting of blood so vitamin a d e k among this which is a anti coagulant agent vitamin k vitamin k is the anti coagulant agent or which prevents the clotting of which helps in the clotting of a blood name the vitamin that protects us from pellagra disease this pellagra disease about these uh, again uh, deficiency disease in the next class we are going to discuss vitamin b7 biotin vitamin b5 b3 and b6 so vitamin b3 niacin deficiency causes pellagra disease vitamin b3 deficiency okay children thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and uh, get live updates